can a worm help your dustbin man? Daft worms aren't strong enough to. No, no, Fred. If you train a thousand worms, they can actually physically no, pick up the no, bin and carry no, it away. No, and they can drive no, trucks. Yes. No. A family, on average, produces over a ton of rubbish every single year. But there's a lot of stuff that we can recycle. We can recycle bottles, for instance. Just take them to the bottle banks. We can recycle cans. Take those to the banks as well. And, of course, we can recycle newspapers and comics. Fairly unrevealing so far, Borders. What about rotting veg and stuff like mm. that? You see, food always has been a problem to get rid of. So if you just leave it, it does rot and it gives off a very, very smelly, stinky gas known as methane. And this is where the worm can help out. You see... This worm here, this is known as a tiger worm, it's a British worm, and these worms love to chomp their way through food waste. Now this dustbin may look like an ordinary dustbin to you, it is in fact a wormery. And all you do to use it is you put the worms into the wormery, and you simply put your food waste on top of that, and leave it all to cook. And once it has cooked, this is what happens. The worms eat their way and chomp their way quite merrily through the vegetable and the food waste. And they make this gorgeous, rich, clean, dry compost, which you can just put onto your rose bushes or on the garden at home. They also give off a liquid which seeps down to the bottom of the wormery. And to get rid of that, all you do is simply open the tap at the bottom, collect the liquid, and pour it onto your plants at home because it's full of goodness and nutrients. What about the how? How does it help a dustman? Come on, Carol. Well, if we recycle more, mm -hmm. then the dustman has less to carry and his job is far less smelly and nasty. Oh. And that is how the humble worm can help your dustman. So you know, there's a lot of trash in the papers, you know. Oh. And look, there's all rubbish on the telly as well. Oh, from us, of course. But your dustbin could really be a vat of gold because our science correspondent, Andy Crane, who really does have a degree in rubbish and a couple of A-levels, is full of rubbish from head to toe, is going to tell us all about it. Over to Mr. Refuse. Andy? Hey, Pats. The government has decided that by the year 2000, 50% of recyclable waste should be recycled. The average family produces about one tonne of waste a year and a quarter of that is vegetable waste. What normally happens to it? Well, you put it in the bin, it goes down to the refuse department and it kind of rots away and produces methane. But then again, don't we all? <coughs> Yes, thank you. So, um, well, what do we do with it now? Well, I'm very pleased to have in the studio with us a representative of DKN who um, will have the solution to the problem. Uh, hello? Oi. Hi, Features. Ah, there you are. This is, this is Pasty the Worm. Hello, Pasty. Welcome to the show. How's your belly off for spots, Andrew? That's fine. Thank you very much indeed. What does that oh, DKN stand for, Pasty? Uh, DKN, uh, don't knock nematodes, which is the fancy word for worms. All right, and what is indeed the solution to our problem, then? Well... I'm glad you asked me that, Andrew, because I was going to tell you anyway. <laughs> yes. Cop a look in that plastic bin over there, Andrew. Yeah? What do you find? Nothing. No, 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 the other one. In here? Yeah. Ah, delightfully sweet-smelling compost, a veritable delectation of decay, a gardener's delight. Yeah, steady on, old son. Shut your eyes and shove your arm in. Tell me oh, what you find. gross, man. Oh, yeah. Don't knock nematodes, Andrew. Do your job, Tinkerbell. Grab a handful. A handful. They're harmless. Hang on, hang on. What are these, then? Well, they're your tiger worms, Andrew. The savages of the worm world. Yeah, but they don't look much like tigers, pasty. Well, human beings don't look much like beans, do they? Them tiger worms, they're the ones what you use on the fishing. Oh, I see, right. They give you a nasty nip, too. I bet they do, yeah. See, them lot... Yeah. ...can turn that lot... Yeah. ...into that lot in a fortnight. Incredible. How do you do it? Well... Let me fill you in a bit about the anatomy of the worm, Andrew. Go on, then, yeah. See, it's, it's a long tube thing with a cake hole at one end yeah. and the uh, no, so, uh, 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 an aperture down the other. Oh, I see, I see, see yes, I, yes. Um, what goes in must come out, and that's what comes out. Yeah, well, so what's new, then? Well, it's official now, see? Oh, really? Yeah. So your councils yeah. have been introducing these bins to private homes. Right. You get one of these dead cheap... Put a load of worms in it, what they also give you. Yeah. And so they don't have to come and take away your rubbish, because the worms eat it for you, recycle it, and you put it on your garden. Oh, brilliant. How many worms do you get with your bin, then? 
Well, you can have a basin full if you like. You have a handful, but uh, what you must understand, Andrew, is that uh, come over here. Yeah. Now, uh, how can I explain this without upsetting your missus? Well, delicately, I should think, Basil. How is your missus, by the way? She's very, very well, and she's probably tuning in, aren't she? She's got you putting up shelves, yet? Yeah? Well, <laughs> funnily enough, yes. Well, <laughs> you, you were telling me about... Uh, about, about, about worms. honeymoon period over now. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, yes, yes. anyway, what happens with your worms is that each and every worm yeah. is a potential mummy and a daddy. <clears throat> no. So, if you give your handful of worms... Like a lot of opportunity to meet each other and dance the okie cokey and Right, that. I see what you're saying. In a minute, you've got a basin full of worms, see? Right, so, um, why aren't there millions of you little baggers running around then? Well, they don't get out much. No, I suppose not, I suppose not really. Pacey, there's a tap on the bottom of the bin there. What's, what's that, what's that for? Oh, your wet bits, Andrew. You will get your bits wet. Yeah, I, I understand. Well, I think at that point we'll draw a veil over, over the proceedings. Um, we've got a competition. We're going to give away one of these wiggly bins. Oh, um, okay. if, if, if anybody were to win one, Pasty, where, where would you suggest they put it? Oh, in the kitchen, of course. It don't honk. Well, <laughs> so what's this competition then? Well, what you're going to do is think of a... I see DKN, don't knock nematodes. I don't think it's very snappy. It's very catchy. I think you could think of a better way, a better word, phrase, saying, acronym... Like what? ...that extols the virtues of the worm, like waggle. Worms are great little earth savers, except I spelt waggle wrong, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. well, except a bit shorter, may I, maybe, Andrew, you know, yeah. a bit snappier. Yeah. yeah. And funny, eh? Yeah, all right then, yeah. Okay, well, if you can think of a phrase saying or acronym that will extol the virtue of the worm, oh, please I'm send it into this address, myself, which will now be read out by Pasty himself. Oh, yeah, here we are. Go um, on, then. How's your father? <laughs> P.O. Box 1, <laughs> Maystone, Kent. Don't forget your old postcode, M A. 14. 14, 5... What's that? Double, it says double L, Pasty. I think we should get you some specs. I've got a bit of so, uh, yeah, get, get your interest in as soon as you can. Pasty, thank you very much indeed.